Squirrels make cute cartoons and plush dolls. However, the real rodents glow pink, delay flights, and get arrested. Just one of six crazy squirrel facts and tales. The Home Wrecker. In 2014, a homeowner was left with a 7,000 pound repair bill after her house was trashed by a squirrel overnight. Margaret Boosfield, 64, came downstairs in the morning to find the angry rodent had ransacked her living room. The squirrel had fallen down her chimney and clawed, bitten, and soiled her curtains, furniture, sofa, and carpets. And it even made a desperate attempt to get out by scratching through the plastic, double-gazing window frames. Margaret, a magistrate, was asleep at the time, but was eventually woken up when the squirrel triggered the burglar alarm. Zombie Squirrels It's very normal for dogs to bark at squirrels. Their simple existence is enough to drive a pup insane. Apparently, though, squirrels are not fans of being yelled at in another animal's language. In 2005, a stray dog was barking at a group of black squirrels in a small village called Lazo in Russia. When the dog approached their tree, several squirrels jumped down and began attacking it. Three local men witnessed the scene. They described watching the squirrels gut the dog and eat it alive. The men started running toward the scene to try to save the dog. The squirrels looked up, and when they saw the humans, they ran away carrying pieces of flesh in their mouths. Police took a squirrel into custody. In 2018, emergency services in Germany received a call. A man in Karu said he needed help because a baby squirrel was chasing him with great interest down the street. He was not kidding. The police arrived and found the caller still unable to shake off the rodent's hot pursuit. The exhausted squirrel suddenly curled up and went to sleep. The panicked man went unnamed for obvious reasons, but the officers decided to call the snoozing baby Carl Friedrich. After they rescued the victim, the squirrel was taken into custody to become a police mascot before being taken to an animal rescue center. The baby squirrel was not psychotic or a little on the weird side. A police spokeswoman explained that when they become separated from their mothers, young squirrels could become fixated on a person as a substitute parent. In fact, when the cops took Carl Frederick to the shelter, the center had already received two other baby squirrels on the same day, and they also tried to adopt unwilling human parents. Targeting the Elderly On the savanna, lions like to target the weak and elderly when they hunt because it's easier to take down their prey. Apparently, squirrels think the same way. In 2016, a squirrel ravaged a retirement home in Florida. A squirrel ran through the front door of the Volosia Senior Home and ran straight for the activity room where several elderly people were quietly seated playing chess, doing puzzles, and reading books. The squirrel began jumping on people, biting into their flesh, and scratching with its claws. Those who could move ran out of the room screaming, but a few of the immobile people were stuck without a way to escape. Someone was brave enough to grab the squirrel and throw it outside. Several people were bleeding by the end of it, and they had to call 911 for an ambulance to help treat the injuries and administer a rabies vaccine. Playing Chicken Squirrels run across the road directly in front of cars so often that it's easy to wonder if they are adrenaline junkies or if they are trying to cause an accident on purpose. In fact, this scenario was turned into a Geico commercial in which the squirrels give each other a high five after causing a crash. In 2015, a squirrel caused a multi-car pileup after it dashed across the island highway in Nanaimo, British Columbia. A 53-year-old man slammed on his brakes and a commercial food truck hit him from behind. Two more pickup trucks crashed as well. The entire highway had to be shut down in the middle of rush hour as the debris was cleared off the road. Thankfully, none of the drivers or passengers were hurt. The Squirrel Breeder Deaths Brain inflammation happens for a variety of reasons. However, when three men died of acute encephalitis, none of the usual suspects were detected. The victims had something in common. They were all from Germany and bred an exotic species of squirrel native to Latin America. Although they lived in different areas, the men would meet to talk and trade the variegated squirrels. The hobby turned deadly. 
Between 2011 and 2013, the breeders all showed symptoms of brain inflammation, slipped into a coma, and died. Confused by the lack of the usual causes, doctors did not find out about the squirrels until further tests found a virus that belonged to the Borna cluster of pathogens, a group known to exist in mammals and for its habit of jumping between species. It was only a matter of time before the patient's hobby surfaced and the squirrels were tested. One tested positive for VSBV1, the virus found in the men's brains. Nobody knows where the virus comes from, nor how the animal and men were infected.